Hello there. So it appears that scientists may not be the paragons of virtue they are made out to be. How many times a day are we now told to follow the science? As if the scientific fraternity is covered by some sort of collective halo of goodness. If the egghead scientists say this, then it must be true, we're told with authority. But not only can scientists make mistakes, they are also as human as the rest of us in other respects. Allegedly. As it is now coming to light that some research back in 2006 by neuroscientist Sylvain Lesney may well be flawed. And this is highly cited research into the cause of Alzheimer's. And there is growing alarm that it might have taken other researchers down a useless cul-de-sac, taking billions in research money with it. And at the heart of this are photographs, lots of photographs, that appear to have been doctored all uncovered by neuroscientist Matthew Schrag. Here's what Science.org reported yesterday after a six-month investigation by specialists into that research and Schrag's findings. They concurred with his overall conclusions, which cast doubt on hundreds of images, including more than 70 in Lesney's papers. Some look like shockingly blatant examples of image tampering, says Donna Wilcock, an Alzheimer's expert at the University of Kentucky. The authors appeared to have composed figures by piecing together parts of photos from different experiments, says Elizabeth Bick, a molecular biologist and well-known forensic image consultant. The obtained experimental results might not have been the desired results, and that data might have been changed to better fit a hypothesis. Now, to be clear, no one is actually calling fraud on this, but you do have to wonder why dodgy images were used. A mistake, perhaps. I mean, what could the motive possibly have been for doing so? And the result has been 16 wasted years of research with Professor Thomas Sudhoff of Stanford University saying, the immediate obvious damage is wasted NIH funding and wasted thinking in the field because people are using these results as a starting point for their own experiments. But this is missing the real point. How many lives have been destroyed because scientists spent more than a decade looking in the wrong place at the wrong thing, while wasting billions in the process that could have been better spent elsewhere? And I wonder where else this might apply in science today. Science is meant to be objective and accurate, and us plebs are instructed to blindly follow the science, or probably more accurately, Follow what we tell you the science is. Ka-ching! <laughs>